بفقرة تحقق امتيازك لهذا الأسبوع استضفنا ديني وميلودي يانغ اللذين اقتفيا أثر والديهما فان وأنا يانغ وقد تميزا بالجمع بين الفن والعلم ورفها على البشر في أماكن مختلفة من العالم لقد زارا دبي الأيام الماضية لإقامة سلسلة من العروض في مركز دبي التجاري We began performing, I began when I was three, him when he was four. And uh, my parents, they were both street performers. And so they started off juggling magic and then my father came across bubbles. And then he started creating different formulas for bubbles. And then when me and my brother were born, then he put us on stage. And we started doing the shows, but we never thought of it as working. We always thought of it as play. So, you know, like I would have like little comments like, "Hey, T, look at all these people." You know, like on stage, but people would kind of find them funny because you're when you're that young, your innocence is pure. You can just do whatever you want, almost, right? Like, I mean, I would fall off stage. <laughs> people would find it funny. I'm like, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> It requires a lot of lung power, right? Air control. So as a singer as well, you have to have a really strong diaphragm. So training your heart, training your like deep breaths, out breaths, those are those play a big factor of how far you can push the bubbles, how much bubbles you can blow into one. So you know it's just the small things are make the biggest effect. But you have to train it. You would expect many different variations and elements of bubbles, it, meaning we'd make square bubbles, spinning bubbles, smoke bubbles, you know, and um, not even that. I mean, we we bring a different <laughs> we bring a different effect. We we have special effects and we have laser lights that we combined with the bubbles. And with this is something that's very unique because. Once you see the lights and the bubbles hit together, it creates like a sparkling, glowing effect. And this is something that you can expect in the show. My fitness routine, so um, I go to the gym at least five to six times a week for two hours a day. And um, I am pretty good on my diet. I eat a lot of chicken and rice. I, I eat a lot of broccoli. I eat green beans, asparagus, salmon. So I like to spend my time, if it's not bubbles, it's either doing something outdoors and adventures, hiking, you know, just being out in nature, just like bubbles are part of nature. <laughs> I'm training right now for MMA. So I'm doing that just as a hobby. Why MMA? Because I'm also going into acting. And with acting, I want to know mixed martial arts. And mixed martial arts is something that you need to know if you want to go into acting for film, for action. And that's something that I look forward to doing. But can you say also mixed martial arts is something where uh, it teaches you balance, control, mm -hmm. you know, mental stability. Yeah. So it's kind of like a, a workout for everything. Mm -hmm. You know, you can learn, you can do mixed martial arts and it, you'll get endurance, strength training, mm -hmm. stamina build, you know, so it's a very uh, core kind of like, uh, like style of working out. There are many memorable performances because every performance is unique, every audience is unique, and uh, everyone we bring on stage is always different. But for me, the most memorable performance is probably, I think it was when I was in New York. And um, I remember I, I did a show and it, I had to bring a little girl on stage. And when I brought the little girl on stage, uh, during that performance, she, she looked like she was about to cry because she really wanted to go on stage and I think she was afraid I didn't select her. But once I did, and her reaction after that, she was so happy, so joyful. Once the bubbles came all around, she started jumping, she started, she started laughing, giggling, and for, 
for me, these moments are the moments that I look for in every show and try to create for everyone. <laughs>